Welcome to uh, this video from explainingmaths.com about solving equations and now it's time for us to start solving multi-step equations. I've shown you to do one-step equations, two-step equations and I've shown you that it's important to first of all work vertically, okay, so don't make one big horizontal line and that you really have to look at it as a balance scale. Eh? You have a left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. And whatever you do on the left side, you gotta do on the right side and vice versa. So check my site, explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all these resources nicely organized, especially for you and everything for free, of course. Now, this is a multi-step equation, okay? And we're finding out how heavy is that box X. Yeah, what is the value of X? Because X is a number, okay? And, um, Eventually, let's say I aim it to say, so x equals, and then a number, let's say the number 5 or whatever. So x equals, and then a number, 1x. And now I have two terms of x. I have one on my left side, and I have one on the right side of the equal sign. So I'm going to take away the term x here. But that's only equal if I do that also on the left side, because as you know, my answer doesn't have terms of x on both sides, it only has it on one side, okay? So please don't say you're moving anything. There are some teachers say, oh, if you move it, the sign changes, you're not moving, eh? I'm taking away 3x here, so I'm taking away 3x there. So 5x minus 3x, that will be 2x plus 4 equals minus 12. And whenever you have terms of x on both sides, I encourage you to keep your answer Positive, if that makes sense. So perhaps I'll, I'll give a, I'll do another example uh, question after this one to show you what I mean with that. Yeah, just a piece of advice there. Okay, uh, moving on now. Two uh, x plus four equals minus twelve. Take away that four there, man, because you don't want that four over there because you only want x's there. Minus twelve, minus four. Don't let those negative signs scare you. Okay, you're old enough now to deal with that. And two times x, so the inverse operation of times is dividing, and minus 16 divided by two is minus eight. There we go, that's my answer, x equals minus eight. And the beauty of this is that you can always check if you're right or wrong. And let's look at the left side. Five times minus eight, minus 40, plus four, minus 36. I'm just gonna write that down. Minus 36 is the left side. What about the right side of the equation? 3 times minus 8, minus 24, minus 12, also minus 36. Well, indeed, that is equal. Okay, so my only possible answer is x minus 8. Okay, now I should promise you a piece of advice. Um, uh, what if I have uh, 4x plus 1 equals 7x? minus eight, all right. Now, yes, you wanted to say x equals and then a number, but if I leave my x terms now on the left side, I'm gonna get a negative x, because four x minus seven x is gonna be negative, and I'd rather have positive x. I mean, I'll get the right answer, I'll get the right answer if I do it, but with those negatives, I know students make silly mistakes with them, unfortunately, so what am I going to do? I am going to leave my x terms on the right side. So I'm not going to take away 7x here. I'm going to take away 4x here. Yeah, on both sides, of course. Otherwise, it's not equal. Because now my x is still positive. I just prefer positive numbers, guys. Okay? Minus 8, opposite operation, inverse operation, plus 8. So 3x equals 9. Yeah, and then. Eventually, I will divide by 3, so 9 divided by 3, x equals 3. Yes, I know it says 3 equals x, but that, that means that x equals 3. I can turn it around. Now, if you did put x on the left side of the equal sign, you will also get 3 as a final answer if you work accurately and properly. But with those negative signs, people make mistakes, so try to keep your x terms positive. So, in this case, on the right side of the equal sign, and in that case, it was on the left side of the equal sign to keep them positive. Very quickly, 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1, 13, I'm going to remember that. 7 times 3, 21, minus 8, uh, 12 plus 1, 13 as well. 13 equals 13. That is a mathematical truth. Fantastic. Solving equations, multi-step equations. Like and share this if it was useful uh, so I can help your friends too. Check my site explainingmaths.com 
for all the resources. I think I have the entire curriculum now online for you to use, you know, for you to understand maths a little bit better, for you to enjoy maths a little bit uh, more. And uh, you can ask me questions there as well and I'll help you. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more video about multi-step equations just to help you properly. That's gonna be my last video. That's that then. All right, see you later. Bye -bye.